Hi, I'm Lisa Vogt. Welcome to my home and garden. In case you haven't noticed, I love being outside and I love flora and fauna. So this project, I'm going to share with you how to make a bird of paradise panel. It's really pretty, has a lot of great colors. I use a nice contrast with a real dark background and super bright frit colors for the flower. You're going to really enjoy making this piece. You can learn how to make this piece and a bunch of others in my video, Painting with Frit. Let's get started. This bird of paradise flower pattern has a lot of intricate shapes. So I'm going to use a paper pattern as a guide to cut the pieces of glass to ensure that they come out accurately and they fit well together. I cut the paper pieces up and then glue them to the glass with a glue stick. This prevents the paper from sliding around when I cut the glass. Then I use the paper as a guide to cut my different shapes. I use my running pliers to divide the larger pieces of glass. These curves are rather shallow, so I'm going to cut these out by hand. I start by running my cutter along the paper, and then I add some concentric circles to relieve pressure in order to make that glass break out more easily. So I use my running pliers at first, then I use my grosing pliers to nip out those smaller areas. I then grind the glass to improve the quality of the edge and improve the way they fit together on the pattern. The intricate shape on the background glass is too tight to cut by hand, so I'm going to use a ring saw. I go over my lines with a sharpie, and then I go over those sharpie marks with lip balm so they don't wash away when I'm using the saw. Here we go, I'll take out that extra piece and look how awesome that shape is. The next step is to assemble the cut pieces on a clear base. I'm using a tiny bit of fuser's glue to adhere the glass to that clear base so they don't slide when I introduce the frit. I'm going to use this intricate black piece of glass to outline and define my Bird of Paradise flower. This background will give me really strong line quality and strong saturation of color that will contrast the frit. I use the frit to give this project a painterly quality, where I have nice glass colors that are shaded and transition from one color to another. It's a really nice effect. I'm working with fine frit because it's easier to clean up than powder. I like to use a lot of frit to ensure that I have real strong color saturation and no transparent areas in my design. Notice I'm being very intentional about where I'm putting my color. I have all the light color on the right hand side, then a medium color in the middle, and then a dark color on the left hand side. That's what gives these flower petals kind of a rounded three dimensional appearance. Now I'm going to introduce some purple down here along the base and some green. This area represents the pod of the flower. Now I take a palette knife and kind of smear and spread those colors in order to blend them a little bit. Then the next step is to take a paintbrush and clean up the the background to ensure that we have a really, really nice strong line quality and high contrast color combination. This two layer project will then be fired in a kiln to a full fuse temperature of 1465 degrees. And then here it is after it's been fired and look at this lovely piece. Look at the lovely color combination and the high contrast colors and the design, just beautiful. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this Bird of Paradise panel, and I hope it inspires you to use Frit in some of your other projects where you want to get a more painterly quality. You can learn how to make this project and a bunch of others in my video, Painting with Frit. Until next time, happy fusing!